you ever wonder where wastewater from the shower goes, or when you do dishes, or when you wash your clothes, or... Welcome to the Borough of Swickley Wastewater Treatment Plant. In 1957, the Borough of Swickley built this wastewater treatment plant to provide sewage services in order that sewage could be treated and not sent directly to the Ohio River. Currently, the Borough of Swickley has completed a $4.4 million renovation and upgrade project at this wastewater treatment plant. The purpose of this infomercial is to make Swickley residents and the other municipalities that utilize this service aware of the procedures and the process for sewage. Wastewater and sewage are collected throughout the borough of Swickley. They are sent to pump stations. The borough operates three, like this one on Chestnut Street. Then the pump stations pump the wastewater and sewage to the wastewater treatment plant. It comes in and the first process is the screen removal. The screen takes out products such as branches, twigs, tennis balls, bricks that may be in our system. This is an automated process that replaces the worker who used to have to go down and physically hand remove all of the debris that would come in with the sewage. It is then screened out, it is sent over to a conveyor belt system and taken to the landfill. When the wastewater sewage leaves the screening area, it comes through this pipe into the grit chamber. The grit chamber is an additional process that takes out non-organic materials, takes out road grit. It is then processed and dropped into these bags, making it clean and green. These bags are then taken to a landfill for proper disposal. This process replaces the worker having to physically shovel the items during the day. The next step in the process is the primary clarifier. The wastewater comes into this tank. It's about 15 feet deep. The items are settled to the bottom, and then they gravity flow over to the aeration tanks. Here it is treated with air that helps the bacteria clean the wastewater. Then the water flows slowly over into the final clarifier, which is one more process, slowed down, that allows product to fall to the bottom of the pits. Then this water, is sent over to the chlorine contact. In the chlorine contact, it is treated. It therefore meets all DEP and EPA standards and can be pumped to the river. We have chosen to utilize some of that water, called gray water, in our process at the plant because we are constantly having to hose tanks, hose our filter presses. Anywhere we can, we use this gray water. This cuts down our dependency and cost on city water. As the wastewater product comes from the primary clarifier, it goes to the digester. In the digester, the product is heated by a heat exchanger. It produces a gas. The borough recaptures the gas and utilizes it to reheat the product continuously. This process saves the borough approximately 60% of its cost for natural gas. The biosolids from the digester are pumped over to this belt filter press. The belt filter press utilizes the gray water that is produced in-house and it takes the product between two belt presses to make a cake product. The belt filter press takes the biosolids and takes all of the water out of them. It is then conveyed through a conveyor belt and taken to a sanitary landfill for disposal. Part of the renovation project at the wastewater treatment plant was the installation of the five handlers that you see on the roof. These handlers are designed to reduce the odor that is at the wastewater treatment plant. The reduction in odor will be between 70 and 80 percent. However, you will still always have an odor at a wastewater treatment plant. That's part of the efficiency. On behalf of Dennis, Chad, Rich, and Joe, we invite you to call the Borough Swickley Wastewater Treatment Plant in order that you can have a tour of the facility and see the services that we render.